Hey everybody, it's Linda from Stamping School. Thanks for tuning in. I've got something new to show you today. It's called Waves of the Ocean. Uh, it's in pre-order time for demonstrators. So you may be seeing people with it. And then in March, customers can order it if you want. So I'm gonna play with it and I'm gonna do a part one and part two. So part one, I'm gonna show you all the parts and pieces and we're gonna do this card. And then part two next week, I'll do some extra projects with it. So this is a sneak peek of what will be in the annual catalog. So the bundle with the dies and the stamps will be in the annual catalog that comes out, is it May? I think it's in May. And then there are accessories that are while supplies last, so they will not be in the new catalog. So we've got designer paper and foils and rhinestones. I'll show you what those look like in person. So this starts March 1st. So here's the bundle. Here's the stamp set. These little, our friendship is a thing of beauty and happy birthday. There's a very tiny, I kind of had a hard time stamping with those, but if you use your stamparatus, you'll get it perfect every time because they are little, but they're really nice. You're so totally awesome. Your strength is an inspiration. And then this big stamp, this is large. It's two and a half tall by five and a quarter. So it fits nicely on a, a layer. And this is what it looks like just stamped. So it already has all of that great etching in the rubber, and which I like even if you have just some water, you know, if you stamp it, like this is navy, that you can go back over this with water even, and it's just so, so pretty. I love all of the etching in it. So it takes out all of the work <laughs> of trying to put that into your stamp. It's a very pretty stamp. Now the dies are really cool. I'm gonna show you my card right here that I'm gonna show you. See how they're layered? So I've got a layer of blue and then a layer of the blue foil and then I embossed white beneath it. So the dies are pretty cool because they, they sort of overlap with each other, but they're not perfect. So they just kind of, they're different. The two of them are different. This one's this one up here. So, and they have an edge to them and a corner to them. So you can put them in a corner of the card if you want to. So those are pretty cool. And then there's a, there's the only one that you would need for the stamp set is the Pelican right here because nothing else really cuts, but they do have these really cool labels that you can use. And they're made to, to put something through like a tag, which would be kind of cool for nautical things. You put rope through them, those are kind of fun. So there are clouds, two different clouds. And I'll show you a little trick with those on this project. There's birds. There's these birds, which are big, like this, like little seabirds. And there's a little stamp, of course, which I did on this one. And then these guys, I didn't know what they were at first. I thought, well, these are these some kind of waves or foam or something, but they actually go on the cloud. So I don't know if you can see, but they match the cloud. Can you see that? Oh, it's so hard to see. Well, I did one in a silver lining because I thought that'd be kind of fun if you had um, a card that you needed for somebody who needed a silver lining. You could do it in silver, and there's a big one and a small one. Let me try and grab it. It's so little. See there? So it kind of gives you an idea for a silver lining. And that's it. So that's, that's the dies. Here are the 12 by 12 designer papers. I'll show you the front and the back. The artist at Stampin' Up! did a lot of paint pouring and then took photographs of it, which is kind of cool. Think about how many things you can do with this paper. I mean, even if you decide the bundle's not for you, this paper is so amazing. If you have anything from snow skiing to surfing, any kind of critters, sea life, turtles, sharks, whales, beachy stuff. The other side is great for all kinds of tropicals between the yellows and the pinks. Look at these, how gorgeous. So pretty, flamingos, if you have flamingos. There's so many things this paper can go with. And I was thinking, I didn't get it, but if you've got this one from the new mini catalog, Seize the Day, how great would this be with that die cut frame that's in there? You see that frame? And put this paper behind it, oh my gosh, it's great. And then the foils. There's three, pardon the glare, there's three colors. There's like a pretty silver and there's a Bermuda Coastal Cabana kind of color and then a real pretty 
Royal Navy Pacific Blue. So really, really pretty foils. And rhinestones. And they've got rhinestones in all the blues. Let's see if I can get it up there for you. So you've got the darker sapphire blues all the way to the balmy pool party, pretty greens, and then the coastal cabana blues. So all types of different blues. Same size as our regular rhinestones from large to small. That's the collection. You can get the whole collection all together. So for $79.25, you can get everything, or you can just do parts and pieces of things. All right, let's get to our project. I'm gonna leave this over to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Now in this card, I did white heat embossing. I tried doing it with just white stamping and it just falls flat, it's just not bold enough. So we're gonna do some embossing. Before I do that though, I want to do a little flicking just to put a few speckles in here. This is balmy blue. It goes really well with navy and goes with that pretty foil. I'm just gonna take my aqua painter here and just get a little bit of water and then just do a little flicking just for some background splatters because it's kind of sea spray, right? Now this is a really big stamp. So you're gonna need a big block, a really big block, or your Stamparatus, which I just prefer anyway because then I know it's gonna work right. And I want it to be kind of, this is bigger. This, act, this piece of paper is actually three and three quarters by five because I'm gonna double layer it. So I've got this and then the white and then the blue. So it's gonna hang over a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it right here. So toward the bottom, but I'm gonna let both edges hang off. And I got one of my little Otis hairs in here, <laughs> my dog Otis. He is shedding like crazy these days. I guess it's just coming into, coming out of winter and heading into spring maybe. Okay, right about there. Let's hold that steady. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do um, Versamark and white powder. My little embossing buddy, if you don't have one of these, just use cornstarch, baby sh baby powder, or something like that. Just takes off all that extra stuff. Versamark, which is that clear sticky ink so that my white powder can stick to it. Now, if you don't wanna do this extra step, you can just stamp it with blues. I just like the white sea foam. And I'm gonna hit it one more time just to make sure it's good and inky. That's one of the best things about this Stamparatus is you can just hit it again and make sure you have enough ink on it. White powder, and then we'll heat set it. All right, that looks good. I've got a navy card, and I'm gonna put a white layer. And I did cut my clouds out of there because I thought, well, nobody's seeing it anyway. So might as well use the paper. So a nice white layer that's four by five and a quarter, and then my blue layer. You can see the difference between this white and that one, such a difference. These go together, and then we'll put the waves on. These are kind of delicate to glue on. You can take your sponge dauber and glue. You can use the adhesive sheets before you cut. Lately, I've just been using some of this white glue, my green multi-glue, and a little stylus, um, just to kinda get it where I want it. If I use a sponge dauber, I like it, but it just gets everywhere. So I just been using my stylus to kind of put the glue where I want it, especially on these real delicate pieces. I'm gonna do the, the shiny blue foil first. This is gonna be a little longer, so I'm gonna cut, trim this off. I forgot on this one, I put it all together and then I trimmed it off, so you might wanna do that. But we're only trimming off the very edge, so it's not too bad. We can leave that on there. Okay, there's one, here's the second one. I'm gonna get some glue on this and I'll be right back. So you know, my friend Cindy Brumbaugh gets these little um, adhesive tips, little bottles with little fine tips. I'm gonna get some of those and give those a try. See how those work. All right, this is just layers on top. And you see they're just offset enough to really 
really see both of them. And it gives a really cool dimensional effect. So now for the clouds. They have these little lines right here. And I mean, I can barely see them on here. So I wanna give them a little accent. I think some machines are just tighter than others, but you can actually just use this as a stencil. Put that back over top and just give it a little pounce. This is with some balmy blue ink. Um, just kind of gave it a really cool little look here. Let me show you, see? Just a little bit of definition to the clouds because you really don't see the indentations very much. I think you're supposed to. I might have to use a shim to be able to see them all the way. And I'm getting blue all over my fingers, but I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna put one up here and I'm gonna put my sentiment on next. This one I just did, Your Strength is an Inspiration that comes in that set on navy with white embossing. And my second little cloud. And then we can add the little seagulls. Now I could add large ones like that with the die, these little guys, or I could just stamp them, which is what I think I'm gonna do. It's tiny, but it works. I'm gonna stamp them in navy. Right here, carefully. Oh, missed a little bit. And right here, there. I missed the very little tip. We're gonna add some rhinestones to the front and then we'll show you about what we're gonna do on the inside. I mean, these are so, so, so pretty. Now for the inside, I was gonna use some of that designer paper. I tore it right here. And you might be able to guess what I'm gonna do with the bottom. I'm gonna make it look like sand. That's gonna go underneath here. And I need to tear just a little bit more off of here, it looks like, where the, where the water meets the sand. A little bit more. There we go, okay. That's perfect. I'm just gonna slide this up there. I was kind of guessing on the size, but this works. And you could make it look like sand writing, you know, and stamp it crumb cake on crumb cake and kind of make it look like it's drawn in the sand. There we go. And then I'm gonna add this little pelican right in the corner that I stamped from that stamp set right here. That could be the front of the card. <laughs> so next week I'll be doing a few more projects using this bundle. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.